What's up everybody? Hope you are having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to explain how to change the look of your pandas data frame to make it look like a heat map. So let's get started. As you can see on my screen, I have already started Jupyter Notebook. So first of all, I will load a simple data set and then I will create a correlation data frame from that data set. And then we will change the look of that uh, correlation data frame to make it look like a heat map. So first of all, let me load the data set. So I am using a wine data set, which is easily available from a Python library scikit-learn. So data frame has uh, information about various ingredients used in uh, creation of different types of wine. So these are various ingredients, alcohol, malic acid, and their values. So I have loaded the data set as a pandas data frame. So next, let me let me create a correlation data frame from uh, this data frame. So for that, I am simply calling a core function and that will create a correlation data frame. So as you can see, this is the relationship between alcohol, alcohol, malic acid and so on. Now, as you can see, I have reduced the number of characters of uh, various columns of our data frame because it was causing issues when I try to modify the width of this column later on when we style the data frame. That's why I have kept only five characters per column. But the full column names are present over here in index if you want to refer to them. So let's turn this data frame into heat map. So in this cell, first of all, I'm modifying the look of the data frame. Now all the methods which are there to modify the look of the data frame is available through styler object. And styler object is available through style attribute of uh, any data frame. So on that we will call various methods. So first method I'm calling over here is a set table style. So this method can be used to modify the look of a pandas data frame. So over here I have provided styling detail. So let me execute this line of code first and show you the result. So as you can see, the look of our original data frame, which is this is modified. So as you can see, I have modified the background of header and index. Then I have changed the color of header and index. I have also modified the format of uh, X or format of the floats displayed in it. So this styling details are from here. So call heading background color is black. Height is 40 pixel. Color of font is white and font size is 15. Same for index. And for each of the cell, this cells, I'm simply aligning text into center and increasing height. So that styling detail is done over here. So this S is a styler object. Then again, I am calling another function or another method name format on it to specify the precision of uh, the floats that will be displayed. So I want to display two digits after decimal points. So this is the data frame. So now let's turn this data frame into heat map. So we will need to change the background color of uh, various cells according to the value of those cells so we can do that by simply calling this function name background gradient and over here we can provide various color maps so let me execute this line of code and as you can see as soon as i executed this line of code it has changed the color of all the background cells so as you can see so it was that easy to create a heat map. So simply calling uh, background gradient will also work, but I wanted to improve the look of a data frame a bit. So that's why I have modified header and all that information as well. Yeah, so it's that easy. You can call background gradient. Now you can provide uh, different uh, color maps as well. So in this cell, I have simply copied our previous example, but I have simply changed the color map to red, yellow and blue. So three colors. So let me execute it and as you can see so this is how the heat map looks now there is one more thing which i want to bring to your attention so by default the color map goes in the range minus uh, so minimum to maximum so minimum value of this data frame to maximum value so in our case it seems that the minimum is uh, this uh, minus 0 0.56 and maximum is one actually the correlations are in the range minus one to one so minus one should be represented with this color red and one should be represented with this color one and all the values in between should be of various uh, colors so this minus 0.54 should not be red should be lighter red 
so if you want to apply exact range so you can do that using parameters name v min and v max so if i specify v min as a minus one and v max as minus one or uh, as one so this will be the range of our color map so let me execute now this line of code and show you how it's uh, changing the look of our data frame as you can see currently minus 0.54 is uh, red dark red so it color will be changing yeah so now as you can see it's almost orange because minus one is red and one is green oh, sorry not green blue and all the values in between will be shades of those color so you can also specify range using this function background gradient you can specify the range of uh, color maps so that way they, it will be accurate now over here as you can see i am creating a heat map of uh, correlation values but you can create a heat map from uh, any data frame you can create heat map on any data frame i am creating over here on float values but let's say you have various integer values so you can create that as well and most commonly used uh, scenarios is uh, let's say that you have a confusion matrix machine learning confusion matrix and you want to make it look like a heat map so you can do that using this background gradient and then you can specify color map all right so that was uh, that simple to create a color map using background gradient now there is one more important method which is available from styler and that method's name is uh, text gradient so this uh, method works exactly like a background gradient but instead of background it sets the gradient colors of the text so let me execute this line of uh, this cell it has a majority of code as our same as our previous example so with only difference that i am over here calling a text gradient instead of background gradient and for each cell i have set background color to black as well so that changes are there let me execute it and as you can see now in this case the colors of various texts are changed based on the gradient values of those cells so now text are gradients so this is also one useful method if you are interested in changing the colors of text so over here i have created one more example so this is our last example if you want to add a border around various cells so you can do that as well so it's the same as our previous example with only difference being that over here i have introduced border so border as a solid one pixel light gray and that is applied to all the td so all the cells of the table so yeah if you ha don't have a background with how to style pandas data frame i would include a link in the description where i explain how you can use this set this uh, set table styles uh, function so please feel free to check that video as well if you're interested in all right so that's it for today's tutorial if you have any doubts or any questions then please feel free to let me know in the comment section and see you next time